guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Katie. I'm going to be sharing with you today what I got for my kids Easter baskets for Easter 2024. I can't believe it is almost here already, but I love these types of videos. I love watching them and I also love filming them. And I love to give you guys different ideas. Maybe you're struggling to come up with what to put in your kids Easter baskets. And this is just super fun for me. Y'all know I love shopping. I love good deals. Everything that I bought pretty much is from um, Dollar Tree or Target, all very affordable things. Um, so I'm really excited to be sharing that with you. I have three kids. I have a nine-year-old girl, a seven-year-old boy, and a five-year-old girl. So that's kind of the age range that I'm working with, but a lot of this stuff could be for multiple age ranges, either boy or girl, whatever. So hopefully this video is going to be jam packed with ideas for you guys for your Easter basket shopping. And if you're new here, I would love for you to stick around, go ahead, hit that red subscribe button. We can become friends here on YouTube and you can stay connected because I do a lot of gift guide type videos. I film everything that I get my kids for their birthdays every year. I film Christmas presents. I film um, Christmas stockings. I film Valentine's Day gifts. I film Easter baskets. Literally, I love to give gifts. And so any reason that I have to get my kids anything, I always film it and share it. And I find that it's very helpful for people. I even have a whole playlist on my channel of different gift guide type of videos. So you can check that out after this video also. But we're gonna dive in, let's get into it. I'm going to kind of go in order of my kids and show you what I got for them. So we're gonna start with my nine-year-old daughter. Okay, let's get into what I got my nine-year-old. Um, she's almost 10, she'll be 10 in May. So she's getting to that preteen age. She's starting to like more tween type things instead of, you know, little girl stuff. Um, but every, I love reading all of my kids and my family. We are big readers in our house, and so I always like to get them books, you know, for different holidays or events. So everybody got a book to go in their Easter basket. So her book I actually was able to find at Dollar Tree, which is amazing. A hardcover book like this, kids chapter book for $1.25 is a really good deal. Definitely check the Dollar Tree book section every time you go because they're always putting new stuff out. But this one is Monster High, which she's into all that kind of stuff. And they actually had several different books. So I actually grabbed a couple to save like for her birthday and stuff because she'll read these all the time. I mean, it says on the back here that these are, these books were $9.99 like in regular stores. So we got that. And like I said, it's a chapter book. So she will enjoy that. And then she also loves the Rainbow High. So there's like Monster High, Rainbow High. I feel like there's another high high something. I don't know. To me, they're all similar and she loves them all. Uh, but she likes Rainbow High. And I actually also found this at Dollar Tree. I'm telling you guys, I found a lot of stuff for these Easter baskets at Dollar Tree over the last two months or so is kind of when I've been thinking Easter in my head. And as I see stuff, I've snagged it and stored it away. But I thought these were so cool. These are fashion designer like paper dolls. So it comes with the two dolls and then it comes with all the different like outfits and accessories and you punch them out and then you can dress them up. I used to have paper dolls back when I was a kid and I thought it was so fun to, you know, change their outfits, mix and match. And I think she's going to really like this. And I thought that was a great buy for a dollar 25. I don't know if it says how many pieces it has in it. I don't think it does, but it looks like, looks like a lot. Um, the next thing that I got her as I'm pulling it out of this bag this is also from Dollar Tree. This is a three poster set. These are the velvet art, like the fuzzy posters. And they're just kind of cute things. Like one of them says love. One of them has a smiley face, which she's totally into like all things smiley face for some reason. The other one, I think it says donut and it has a donut on it. I don't know. It even comes with markers and I thought that she would enjoy doing this. It's very detailed. So definitely, you know, for like an older kid, but I thought that would be fun for her to do. Next up, I got her these really soft, fuzzy slippers. These are actually from Target, but I got them on clearance for 
three dollars that is such a good deal and she is totally into this like checkered look I don't know why but like she is wanting everything in this checkered style that is like super trendy right now but these are just so soft I wish you guys could feel them love them and I know it's spring officially today I think um but where we live in Massachusetts, it is still quite chilly for a while. Um, and we definitely still need our slippers, especially in the morning and stuff. So she will get good use out of these, even though it's heading towards um, better weather. The next thing I also found at Dollar Tree, this is an anime coloring book. She is kind of getting into anime. She's kind of getting into like manga she likes like the big eyes. You guys see the big eyes. She likes that style. Um, and she actually had got some books that she checked out from the library, like how to draw anime. She's actually getting pretty good. So I saw this at the Dollar Tree and I wanted to snag it because I knew that she would like it. So it's just a coloring book with a bunch of different anime style, random, you know, characters or whatever. So she'll have fun with that. I also got her this little notebook, whoa, <laughs> this little notebook from the Dollar Tree because she also loves peace signs, peace signs, checkers, smiley faces, like this must be a tween thing, I don't know, but she's into it. So it's like this pretty bluish color and then it has right there on the inside page, whoo, this metallic rainbow thing um, and then it's just lined notebooks, but she's very creative and she loves to come up with like her own stories. She's all the time writing stories and songs and stuff. So she likes notebooks to do all that kind of stuff in. And then to go along with that, I also found these at Dollar Tree, guys. Um, I found this matching set. How fun are these? Uh, Pop-Tart stuff. Like she loves Pop-Tart. She eats a Pop-Tart almost every morning for breakfast. The girl could live off Pop-Tarts. And so this is a Pop-Tart pen. Look at how cute. And it's one of those like fun 10 color pens. So you push down the color that you want. Do y'all remember these from like the 90s? I had a million of these and I loved them because it was one pen with all the colors you could want and you could write a different letter in a different color. <laughs> I thought she would really like that. And then they had the matching eraser. This is an eraser, you guys. It just looks like a box of Pop-Tarts. How cute is that? And we homeschool, so they use erasers quite often with their schoolwork. So that is just fun. I thought she'd like it. And the next thing that I found, I actually got this at Walmart a while ago. I think this was after Christmas clearance and I got it and stored it away. So it's a Fruity Pebbles eyeshadow palette. How cute. Look at the bright colors. Now she's not really wearing makeup, like I said, she's almost 10, but sometimes she likes to just play around with it, and especially these bright colors. I don't think she'd be wearing those around anywhere, but for when her and her friends are just hanging out and having fun, they might enjoy, you know, putting this on each other just for fun and then washing it off. And I think I got this for like two or three dollars, so I just thought it was cute that it was like kind of, kind of kiddish, you know. So we got that. The next thing I found this at Target, I think also after Christmas on clearance and I got it for like, I don't know, 75 cents. Like it was super cheap, but this is also a little notebook, a little like spiral notebook. And this one's small. She can, she has like this little mini backpack that's kind of like her purse that she carries around. This will fit perfectly in there. And it's kind of fun because it has like confetti in it that moves all around and again it's that smiley face thing that she loves uh and actually the notebook itself is like that checker design that she likes so I thought that was cute and then this was um I think the same brand as that one or it was near it was right there near that one and this I also found for like 75 cents on clearance and it's a charging cord which we always need a charging cord <laughs> we have iPads and she actually last year, if you watched my what I got my daughter for her nine year old birthday, um, she actually got my old phone like as her big birthday present last year. And it's not connected to phone service. So she uses it more like an iPad. It's only when she has Wi Fi, you know, but she can message her friends on there and she plays all her little games on there. But she's always needing to charge her phone. <laughs> so I found this and it's like cute. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's like really cute colors. 
So I thought that that was really fun and I thought she would like that. I also found this at Dollar Tree and this is a TY Beanie Baby keychain clip. And he has like, I guess it's a um, mouse and he has like little sparkly ears and sparkly eyes. But I thought that was cute. She could clip it onto her backpack or whatever. But all of my kids love like stuffies like that. Um, the next thing that I got since I got her, you know, a notebook, I also found these at Dollar Tree and I thought they were so fun and they took me back to the 90s as well because did y'all have like the gel pin sets? <laughs> these are so fun. These are the little mini gel pins in a whole rainbow color. I loved my gel pins. So I got her that and then I found this at Dollar Tree and it's actually a crayon box to put crayons in. However, it will perfectly fit these gel pins and then she can keep them because this little flimsy thing isn't really, you know, that's just trash, but she can put them all in here and keep them together and organized. So this just opens like that. So I got that so that she could store those. And then I got this on clearance at Target one of these days for, I don't know, like two bucks or something but it's like a surprise blind bag and it's little mini fashion things. So it has um, real fabric and there's like purses and accessories. So you don't know what you're gonna get, but you can open it up and there's like five things in here. So I think that she will enjoy that. And oh, then I found this at uh, Target in the dollar section for $1. And I actually found this before I found that Pop-Tarts pen, but I ended up getting both of them. So this one is a Dipping Dots, which my kids go crazy over Dipping Dots. And it's hard to find Dipping Dots. Like we only ever see them at like amusement parks, um, places like that. Like it's hard to find them. So whenever we do find them, my kids go crazy and they want them. So this is a Dipping Dots pen. And again, it has the 10 different colors. But the cool one thing about this one is that all of the colors are scented. So the red one smells like raspberry, um, the white one smells like vanilla, green is lime, red is strawberry, brown is chocolate, blue is blueberry, yellow is banana, orange is orange, purple is grape, and green is watermelon. So I just thought that that was super fun and for a dollar. So I did find this one and I got my kids, all three of them got one of these, you'll see it in the other two. Um, so I did get her, you know, two pens, but I think she'll, I think she'll like them both. Like I said, she's a doodler. She's very creative. She loves to doodle and write and she'll use both of these. They're also different sizes. So this one she might keep in her desk and this one she might put like in her little backpack or whatever, which is totally fine. So that is all of the like, um, tote like stuff. Now I did get some candy items. I'm gonna show those to you. I got her one of these little Reese pieces um, carrots. I get these every year for the kids because I think they're so cute and they're a dollar at Walmart. So all the kids got one of those. And then I got her this um, Stitch lollipop thing because she loves Stitch. And so it has a lollipop in there and you push it up, I guess. So it opens like that. I've gotten different ones of these for the kids before, like at Christmas time and stuff. And they always think that they're really fun. So I got her that. And then I got her um, this little, I think this came from the Dollar Tree, I think. This little thing of Smarties. All my kids love Smarties. So she also got that. And I did not get like a chocolate bunny or anything like that just because... I've gotten those before and my kids don't really eat them. And then it's just like, they eat a bite of it, but it's just so much. It never gets eaten and it just ends up going in the trash can. And then I just feel like I'm throwing money away. So I decided this year just to not get the chocolate um, bunnies because we're gonna be going to some um, Easter egg hunts and they'll get tons of, you know, little chocolate and, and candies and stuff like that at the Easter egg hunt. And if I get too much candy, it's just, it just becomes a whole, thing so I'd rather keep it <laughs> keep it as small as I can you know with the candy so that's everything that I got for my nine-year-old now I'm going to show you what I got my seven-year-old okay this is what I got my seven-year-old son so I got him a book as well and my son is obsessed with the dog man graphic novel series if any of your kids are into that it's a super cute like comic book series and he loves them and the author actually just released 
let me see, uh, today I think, which is the 19th that I'm filming this, the author just released the brand new book. And so I've had it on pre-order in my Amazon cart for like two months now, because I was like, this is perfect to put it in his Easter basket because all the other dog man books, he's either read them from the library or they're kind of pricey. So I like to buy them pre-used. So I find a lot of them at like thrift stores or yard sales and I buy them for him because he will read them over and over and over. It is such, I mean, you know, it's not like great literature, but it's a fun way to get kids to read if they end up liking the books because he loves them. So this is the brand new Dog Man book that was just released and it's called Dog Man the Scarlet Shedder. So he is going to be so excited. He already was telling me, I guess he saw where this was going to be released. He's like, we need to go to the library and see if they have the new Dogman book. And I'm like, okay, you don't know you're going to get it in your Easter basket. But this is kind of what it looks like if you've never seen it. It's a graphic novel and he seriously loves them. So that I'm really excited to give that to him. So he got that and then he also got, this is from the Dollar Tree, it's a paint set, the Transformers. So it comes with two different like posters, here they are on the back, the posters. And then it comes with the paint and the paintbrush, so literally everything you need. And these are just great like indoor activities when you just need something for the kids to do and get them off like screen time. So we got that for him. This I found at Target on clearance for $2.99, which is an amazing deal. So this is a um, Superman comic book and action figure set. It was originally $9.99, but it comes with the comic book and then the little figurine. And like I said, he loves comics and he loves it. He's all boy, so he loves anything like superhero or whatever. They actually had like three different ones of these and they were all $2.99, so I bought all of them. I'll save the other ones for his birthday, for Christmas, whatever, but I just thought that that was a great deal. And it can be hard to find boy things. I don't know if you're a boy mom or a girl mom or whatever, but if you have both, then you know that it is so hard sometimes. Like there's so many things for girls, so many little accessory type things that you can get for stuff like this or for stockings or whatever that just make it easy but for boys in my opinion it is harder to find like those little things so that's why I snatched up these when I found them because I was like that's perfect so we got that and then I also got him one of these fun little sets from the Dollar Tree so I found the matching Pringles um pin and eraser so he got that as well. So it's a 10 color pen and then the um, jumbo eraser with the Pringles. It's just so random, but I love it. They're gonna, they're gonna think it's hilarious. And then I actually found this on clearance at Target for $1.79 and it is uh, Nerf bullets. And these are the big ones, the mega ones. So my son loves Nerf. He has like a million Nerf guns and you are always need more bullets. Um, we like to go have like Nerf battles with all of our friends. Actually, his last birthday party when he turned seven, we like went into the fellowship hall at our church. And we set up like a Nerf battle zone and that was his party and the kids and the adults loved it. It was so much fun. So I thought that was a good deal for $1.79 and a great little thing to put in his Easter basket. This was a Dollar Tree find and this is the Zuru Smashers um, Dino Eggs. So you smash this egg open and there's like a little dino figure inside of it, I think. So I think he's gonna have a lot of fun with that. It says that you can throw it or smash it. So he'll probably have fun destroying this to get to the thing inside. The next thing that I got him is also from Dollar Tree. I got him a uh, it's two pack or three pack? Three pack of these Fruit Ninja socks, which he has played this. Pretty sure that's what this is. Fruit Ninja is a game. I think because I'm pretty sure I've heard him tell me about it but anyways these are like super nice socks and he needed new socks anyways so I got that for him and then I told you guys I got all of the kids these little 10 color pens from the Target dollar section for a dollar but they all are a little bit different so like my nine-year-old hers was dipping dots and my son's is icy so again all of the colors are a different scent of icy so that's really fun, which most of them are kind of self-explanatory, like blue is blueberry. 
but the orange one is that blood orange have y'all ever had that blood orange like um icy or snow cone so good and green is sour apple so that's really fun all my kids like ices as well um let's see he also got a thing of smarties from the dollar tree and he also got a one dollar Reese carrot from walmart and oh i found him these at target on clearance for three dollars and fifty cents and these are really fun sonic um sunglasses he loves sonic look at the back look at the little straps right there cute this is going to be great with spring and summer coming up when we spend a lot of time outside my kids sometimes you know their eyes are sensitive and they ask for sunglasses so that will be perfect and keep those in the car and then he'll always have them speaking of sonic i also found him this sonic um pop-up lollipop thing similar to the stitch one that i got for my daughter but this one is sonic and this one actually comes with two lollipops in there if you can see it and this one is like in the shape of an egg so that's cute i actually saw this one first and i was like oh i gotta get that and then i happened to find the stitch one and I got another one for my five-year-old that you'll see in a minute. But this is the one that caught my eye because anytime I see anything Sonic or Mario, I don't think I got anything Mario for his Easter basket this time, but he also loves Mario. So I feel like I have like a, <laughs> my eyes are always on the lookout for Sonic and Mario things. Um, and then the other thing I got him, this is from Dollar Tree. And this is a Among Us mini figure. So he loves that game Among Us. That's a video game also, I believe. <laughs> but he talks about it all the time. So this is like a little blind bag mystery figure that you can open up and see what's inside. So that is everything that's going in his Easter basket. Now let me show you what's going in my five-year-old's. Okay, here's what's going in my five-year-old's Easter basket. So for her book, I found this one on Amazon actually, and it is a level one reader book. And it's a Star Wars book about Baby Yoda because this child is obsessed with Star Wars, especially obsessed with Baby Yoda. So I thought she has so many Star Wars books, but um, these level one readers are perfect for her age. And she doesn't have this one, so she'll like it. So that's the book she got. And then I got her, oh, another Baby Yoda thing. I found this at Dollar Tree and it's a little Baby Yoda like Play-Doh thing. So it comes with the brown and green Play-Doh and then it comes with the mold. So you put the things in there and then it comes out looking like, hopefully, looking like Baby Yoda. So I think that will be fun. She'll enjoy it. And then I got her, I thought this was a Target clearance find that I found this little purse pets. Like a, um, my girls have the big purse pets, but I guess this is like a little mini one. So we got that for her. It was like a dollar or two. Uh, this was a Dollar Tree find. She likes Gabby's Dollhouse. And this is the little Murcat figurine that I found at Dollar Tree. This was a Walmart clearance find for like, I don't know, 75 cents or something. Just a little like mini Barbie doll. She loves to play with like Barbies, so thought that was cute and then I got her this is the 10 color pen that I got her and hers is blow pop so I found dipping dots icy and blow pop and I just thought that these were so fun for a dollar like that's cheaper than Dollar Tree now so I like sometimes you can find really good deals in the Target dollar spot that are actually a dollar like Dollar Tree used to be and that always makes me happy <laughs> this is a Amazon find that I think was like five dollars or so but I had to get it because she loves babies and this is a little easter bunny baby cute and it comes with a little passy adorable she's gonna love it so cute and then i got her i also got her a notebook from um dollar tree it's just a plain notebook but she loves to um draw and she's always wanting to draw like in her older sister's notebooks well her older sister doesn't like that so she's getting her own little notebook from the Dollar Tree. Let's see what else is in here. This was also an Amazon find. It's like a Disney princess um, lip smacker set. So it comes with a 
like a chapstick. Hold on, let's just open it up and see what's in it. Oh, I could not get that open, but I finally did. So it comes with a sparkly like lip gloss. It comes with a, I guess this is lotion. It says for face and body lotion. And it comes with a little chapstick with all the princesses on it. And then there's something else in here. Oh, it's a little thing of nail polish. So I just thought that that was super cute. It was, I don't know, less than $5. I saw it on Amazon one day and it comes in this cute little pouch and it's totally age appropriate for a five-year-old. So I thought that that was really cute. Um, I also found this at Dollar Tree. It's a Biddy Funko Pop Star Wars character which she's gonna freak out about. So it's, cause my kids, all of them love Funko Pops, but she has a bunch of the Star Wars, like real Funko Pops. And this one, it comes with one of these, it's a surprise, little mini characters. So cute. Um, she also got a Smarties candy and she also got, of course, the Reese's carrot. And I also got her this paint set from the Dollar Tree and this is just like the one I got my son but this one is frozen so it comes with these two posters and then it comes with the paint and the paintbrush and I think there's oh I also got her one of those little beanie baby keychains like I got my older daughter but this one's like a I don't know what this is like a little unicorn I guess cute and I got her this I found in the Target dollar spot for one dollar and I just thought that was really cool. It's a confetti chalk crayon. How cool is that? I love the colors in it and it was a dollar. So that's really cool. And that is everything that I got my five-year-old. One last thing I just realized I forgot to show you. So that was the little push-up pop thing that I got for my five-year-old. It's a little Gabby's dollhouse one, just like the Stitch and Sonic one. So I really hope that this was helpful to you guys. Um, I would love to hear from you down in the comments. I love reading y'all's comments. It truly makes my day. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps get this video out to more people. And if you're not subscribed, like I said earlier, please subscribe. It's free to do. It really helps me out and I would love to stay connected with you. I do a lot of these videos. If you wanna go check out that playlist with I have like three different years of Easter <laughs> baskets of the past. You can definitely go check those out. But thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. I appreciate you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.